Hello everybody. Um, welcome to, oh shoot, listen. Welcome to Wonderful Life of Illness in the Wallace household. Um, Lindy, crawl in, I'll get you buckled in. Uh, Lindy woke up with 101, then she okay, kept over from school. Can you knock it in? Hold on. We're parked tight by the van, and I have to get her in. Let me just put you guys down for a second. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Where was I? So Lindy woke up with 101 fever, took a nap, woke up with 103.8. Uh, call the pediatrician, they don't have any openings for her to be seen today by them. She wants to go to urgent care. Her heart rate's 175 beats per minute. Her oxygen is between 89 and 92. Um, yeah. So we are. We have to go to urgent care. We just got into urgent care and um, we're in a room. Um, heart rate's still really high. She's still very hot. Oh my gosh. Her fever was 102.7 when they took it. Um, it's very lethargic. I don't think the Tylenol's doing anything. Um, she's due for Motrin. Um, we'll see what they say. She's so on fire, guys. And we're like melting together. But um, I'll keep you updated when we know more. I'm guessing they're gonna swab her for flu and RSV and everything. But the the waiting room's packed. It's crazy. I was on the way over here driving. I listened to NPR and they talked about the pandemic of little children, RSV, respiratory illnesses, and how bad it is. And I'm, I'm at the point where like, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're living at the hospital or doctor's office. It's just, it's, it's getting ridiculous. But yeah, I'll let you know what the doctor says and what the next steps are. All right, so the doctor doesn't think it's flu or RSV because her respiratory looks good. Our oxygen monitor, Said it was 180 beats per minute for her heartbeat, but theirs is like 130, so I think our oxygen monitor is busted or whatever. Um, she's got a little bit of a like, um, crackle in her lungs, but very mild. They said I don't think it's a pneumonia, and um, sorry, <coughs> I had a dry cough for a few days. They're testing for strep, and um, we're gonna see if it's strep. And I hope it's not strep because I have got strep and got scarlet fever, and we covered a whole body rash and still not fully recovered. And I'm scared I'm gonna get it again. But I'm not gonna worry about that. And um, we're gonna see. But she's still so warm. She's so warm. We're on fire over here together. All right, guys. So we are home. Um, Lindy has strep, and I'm scared because, as you can see, I'm still suffering from strep. I've had. A a month and a half ago. Um, so, this is gonna be your home base for most of today and tomorrow. And, and um, there's of course a shortage of antibiotics, the moxicillin, so they're giving us another kind of medicine. And hopefully that the pharmacy has it. If not, I gotta call them back and have them reset another one. Um, cannot believe she's sick again. We've all been so sick forever. It's like never, we're never gonna be normal again, ever. And I'm so sad, but she's, yeah. It's what it is, so we'll keep you updated on what's going on. So, I have been trying to start taking more garlic <laughs> um, since like, this whole sickness stuff has gone down. And um, I did this a while ago when I got sick before, and I don't know, a lot of people, I don't know if you know, garlic is like a natural antibiotic. Um, so I just minced up three cloves of garlic and I'm gonna swallow them and um, Hope this will prevent me from getting strep again and help my body fight whatever's going on with my rashes and things. But yeah, I just wanted to like, it's what I do. I have my hint water, it tastes like grape. Cause it's, it's just not, it's not, it's not tasty at all. Ah, and my burps smell like garlic. Um, but it's something I've been doing, something I've been trying naturally to help my body heal itself because it just it's not working fast enough for me <coughs> and uh, i'm just now i'm scared about getting up again so this is what i'm doing and someone suggested gar gargling with salt water i might do that too yeah i wanted to share this is where I'm at, guys. It's desperation. I'm so tired of being ill. I'm tired of everybody to be ill, but me, moms, should not, allowed to be, not, should not be allowed to be sick. We have no help. Our respite's going on vacation for two and a half weeks. Um, it's holiday time. 
I know people are probably like, you shouldn't went to Disney night, you shouldn't went to Polar Express, but like, when should I do those things? Like, we didn't get sick at all the whole summer. As soon as school starts, like it all turns into chaos. I know everyone, I, I know it's like a, it's like a pandemic of all these kids that are sick, and they say it's because of COVID. But I'm like, so how much longer do we have to do this? How much longer do my kids have to be sick? Um, we have to go through this. Like I, I need a break. I need healthy children for a month. A month. Just yeah, I gotta take my garlic. But yeah, that's my my rant of the day. So I'm taking Wynn to dance class tonight. She actually, they actually, all the girls have a winter recital coming up um, in a, about three, three days. So um, hopefully- Mine's the closest. Yes, and I'm hoping everyone stays well so they all can do this. Um, we're trying to keep Lindy as much isolated as possible from everybody. Um, and the doctor did say 24 hours on the antibiotic makes her not contagious. So we're just gonna hang in there. But um, we're heading to dance, she's going to tap class and uh, yeah. Wayne is getting ready to go and tap, practicing her shuffles. <laughs> so I just dropped Wynn off at the class. I'm sitting outside in the car because I need a little bit of time to decompress. Um, trying to stay level-headed about the situation. I know we're not alone. I know most of the universe right now that has children have been sick as long as we have. Um, I think it's just really hard because I'm not well and, I, and I, my rashes are still very painful and very annoying. I have to do, like I'm putting, I'm taking steroids and putting stuff all over my face, on my body, my legs, it, and it's, it's just not great. So, um, and I don't have the dermatologist appointment yet. I don't know what's taking so long. I don't know why. I don't have the referral, all the things. I have to do more phone calls. And I, I'm last on the list, you know, as a mom. <laughs> and, um... I haven't heard about the antibiotic yet and I'm very worried about that and uh, I have to I'm gonna call Walgreens again and see if anything has come in um, and then if I don't hear anything by the time this class is over I have to call urgent care and ask them what's going on but I am a little frustrated with everything and I'm frustrated with like everything pharmacies doctors appointments illnesses schools living holidays family I mean it's it's a long list of just I'm just tired of everything and you know our respite provider again like I told you is leaving for a few weeks and that's fine um I don't know what I want I really don't. It's like the circus of our life has just overtaken and this is our new norm. And the only thing I want to do is do things like Disney on Ice and Polar Express and things that are full of joy and fun and there's so few far between. Right now the daily grind is very hard. But yeah, I'm trying, I'm, not, I'm trying not to be so angsty, but I am right now. But I, I know all of my true followers know that it's not like my life has been anything but easy. And it hasn't gotten easier at all. At all. But yeah. I'm going to sit in the car, I'm going to decompress a little bit, and then get home and check on Lindy and call the pharmacy and all the things. Just got home. Ph the pharmacy is still not filled the prescription. I just called urgent care. I guess their machine is down, so they're at to call the prescription in manually, and hopefully before bedtime, we'll have this medicine in her. Um, but we will see. Uh, but she's doing good. She's having some chicken noodle soup for dinner. She's having dinner with, by, on her own over here with her purple cup, watching some YouTube kids. How you feeling, Lindy? Good? Oh, you're so cute. Good. No pain? No pain? Good. Lucky. I'm so happy. <laughs> so the pharmacy will have the prescription ready by 7.15 tonight. So we have to keep the kids up a little later than we normally do to give Miss Lindy her medicine before bed. Uh, the main reason why we're doing this like we're not waiting until tomorrow morning is that Lindy has a dance recital coming up and I need her to be well so she can do it and pray that no one else gets this um, so they can do the recital but I am afraid so. Oh my god guys. Okay. 
so I don't know where I left off, but I went to go get the prescription. Um, went to Walgreens and they said, no, we don't have it. We are out. So I'm like, okay, now what do I do? They tell me they have two bottles of medicine that they, they have that are for this antibiotic. You have to go back to the doctor and get a new prescription. So they carry it all out for me. I go back. To, luckily, urgent care is open till 8. I get there at 7.30. They write a new prescription. Um, me not understanding is that the prescription, the bottles that they were showing me at Walgreens were two separate bottles of two different prescriptions. They only had those two available. So I get back there, they give the prescription, and the prescription they go, oh, this is for X amount of dosage. We only have one bottle, so it's like 100 milligrams or whatever. Um, we can give you that, but we can't give, we don't have enough to fill the full dose, and you're gonna have to go find the full dose in three or four days because they have to tell you have to bill insurance i can't even begin to look for three or four days for the next five days of of medicine um so yeah that i've been it's been hours it's nine o'clock at night i haven't eaten dinner i've been up since 4 30 this morning um haven't eaten since noon it's been a joke uh but i will be i'm gonna be blessed and say hey we have a five day prescription right now of antibiotics which is so hard to find uh, I feel very lucky and now I have to try to find the next five days but I can do it and I will do it and they gave me back the prescriptions I can go just to a pharmacy when I do find it instead of having to call the doctor and have the whole whoop to do of trying to get a doctor to send it so that works out but yeah I'm gonna go give Lindy her medicine uh, even though it's nine o'clock at night and get her started and pray no one else gets sick I don't know what we're gonna do there's, there's no antibiotics there's no there's no antibiotics I don't know, I, this world we live in is insane. This is, this is crazy town. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget guys, you're wonderful. Bye.